Stable flight. Hopefully. In three, two, one. They are calling him the Tony Stark of Kitchener, Ontario. All right, so in order to attach the rockets to my body, we're gonna need some kind of um, mount or holder. So what we're planning on doing is actually kind of making a wrist mount that I can hang on to, and it's got room for three rockets per side. And then what we'll do is we'll also have a kind of like a crutch element, a bar that will go up just in case I can't hold the force of the rockets. And then the other thing we can do with that is make sure it's not possible for me to aim the rockets at myself. Because we're going to do a few tests later on to see just how powerful this rocket is and how many layers of Kevlar it will go through. These will hold each rocket motor in place. We're going to have three rocket tubes per hand. And since these guys put out 25 pounds of thrust each, that means we'll have a maximum takeoff thrust of 150 pounds, which is my body weight. So, hypothetically, if I jump, I should jump pretty high. And that will be the test. But we're going to start small. We'll start with just one rocket per side. If that goes well, we'll do two. If that goes well, three. So to figure out just how powerful these rockets are and whether or not these Kevlar pants are actually going to save my legs, we're going to do a quick test to see if the, the rocket plume will actually eat through the Kevlar or not. So. Alright Ryan, three, two, one. One. Kevlar pants are not going to cut it. Alright, so the uh, Kevlar is just not going to cut it. It absolutely got incinerated. And this was actually two layers of Kevlar. And as you can see, it burned the wood pretty good. So, if we're going to make pants to actually withstand this kind of rocket blast, we're going to need some kind of either metal or wood insert as well, which is going to be tricky because if I'm flying up 10 feet in the air, I don't want to have bulky pants because when I come back down and land, it's not going to be fun. So. Might have to go back to the drawing board for this one. Alright, so we've got the uh, rocket holder done and our metal crutch. So the next question is, where do we want to weld these guys together? And we're thinking we want to have the arm slightly bent. Because um, that way, we, one, we don't want the elbow to lock. And two, then I'll be able to support it with my own strength. And then, if that's not enough, then it engages into my armpit. So. Alright, so because the model rocket engines actually have a bit of a backfire, we need to make sure that doesn't hit my arms. So we're going to make a little deflector plate off of that using some steel. Sweet. So we have a 
have our rocket module complete. Now I think they just need a coat of paint, but let's see how they fit. So as you can see, my arms are not locked. I can really wedge into my armpits for a nice stable flight, hopefully. But after seeing what it did to the Kevlar pants, the safety on this is uh, maybe non-existent, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so the red's done, now let's add some gold accents. All right, so these feel pretty good now with the padding. Now we just have to figure out how to fire off the rockets simultaneously. So if any of you guys happen to be model rocket experts and you have some ideas about how to get these to fire at the same time, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next week.